Hello, my name is Jan Armour, and I'm an Ali teacher, and I've been asked to do a presentation on making books. So that's what we're going to talk about today, making some books. So I've done lots of books in my day. I've done books using the Blurb app. I've done books using Shutterfly. My favorite bookmaking program is called Chatbooks. You can download the app from the App Store. Let me show you some of my chatbooks. So this is one that I made of some of my fine art photography. Uh, it's soft cover, as you can see. And there are some pictures in the book. Um, you get 30 pictures in the book. And the book comes back in about 10 days or less. Um, it's 10 bucks plus shipping for this kind of a book with 30 pictures. Uh, you can't beat them. They're a great way to make a little book. They make great gifts. Uh, I like to make them in hardcover. This is hardcover. Uh, this is a book that I made for Kathy. Uh, she's a sculptor. And let me show you some of her pictures. I'm very proud of her pictures. And by the way, if you want to see some of my pictures, you can go to armorphoto.com. You'll see lots and lots and lots of my pictures. But here's some of my darling wife. There she is. All dusty. Uh, my favorite size, though, the, this, the books that I'm showing you are 6x6. Six six. This is 6x6. Six six. My favorite size is actually 8x8. Eight eight. This is an 8x8 eight eight book. Uh, these are an extra, I don't know, an extra 10 bucks. They're really worth it. I love the way they look. The quality is, like I said, the quality is terrific. And um, you can see. It's a great little project for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Tip number one is to favorite all the pictures that you want to use in your book on your phone. So the way you do that is you go find the pictures that you want in the book and you need to pick at least 30. I usually do about 34 or 36. You need to choose the pictures and each one, enlarge each one, look at it, crop it, darken it, lighten it, and favorite it. Hit the little heart button down at the bottom of the picture. There's a little heart, and when you hit the heart, it puts the picture in the favorites folder. So that'll be much easier for you to make the book if you put all the pictures that you want in the book in the favorites folder. Find a picture that you want to put in your favorites folder, and you tap the little heart. Once you do that, it will be in the favorites folder. That's all there is to it. A good idea to edit the picture. So you can go in here, and hit the crop button and maybe you want to edit, tighten it up a little bit, make it a little closer uh, and click done. Do all your cropping and darkening and lightening before you actually start the chat book process. You're looking at my screen on my phone right now and you will notice that on my phone down near the bottom there's a green square that says chat books. If you tap that, that's how you start to leave some footprints in the sands of time. So in the middle, down at the bottom, there's a little plus symbol. Tap on that, then put your finger on the screen and slide up a little bit until you see standard photo book. Tap on standard photo book and create it. The next thing you need to do is pick the size of the book. I'm going to choose a 6x6, six six, but I'm going to do a 6x6 six six book soft cover. These make great little greeting cards. You can make some really nice little greeting cards spending just a measly $10. Down near the bottom, you can choose the color of the pages. I've chosen white. You can choose black or gray, but I'm choosing white. And then you tap create photo book. Now you have to pick the pictures that you want in the book. So you go to the camera roll. Now on the camera roll, this next part is a little bit tricky. Uh, you could 
start right here and if you flip through here these are basically all the pictures on your camera roll that's one way to do it but you know you may have some older pictures that are way way back and it may be hard to find them so a shortcut is to on the right hand side you'll see those three horizontal lines blue lines tap on that turn off where it says group similar photos tap that and turn it off and below that it says only show high quality photos turn that off too turn those both off and then you can go to your favorites folder if you've already marked the pictures you want as your favorites and that's a good way to do it so that you can find them easier and then when i hit the word apply you're going to see all pictures of my dog so you can select the pictures now just by tapping on each one two three four and i try to select over 30. you're supposed to choose at least 30 pictures if you don't choose 30 you'll have blank pages in your book down at the bottom, it says 29 pictures selected. I'm going to keep going here. I have such a cute little doggy. Okay, I chose 36 pictures. I click the word add. So here's a picture of Maggie in the shower with me. So I have another picture of Maggie somewhere. Maggie in the shower. So I'm going to click and hold on that. And I'm going to keep going down until I find that other picture. I think I have a picture of Maggie in the shower here let's see i think i do i don't know uh, it doesn't look like i oh yeah here it is right there so let's see if i can get it next to it yeah so there's maggie in the shower and i like this picture as the last picture too so that's cute that's gonna be good so to edit the cover of the book you uh, tap on it edit cover and then down at the bottom right it says change cover you'll have to go back into the favorites folder and find another picture that you might want to use for the cover so you can tap on it let's say let's say you want to use this one i think i will use that one and i also want to put the word maggie on it i did that by going to the title and layout and you get a little format here, and I've chosen to put Maggie's name at the bottom. Anyway, there are a couple more features in chat books that I'd like to show you. If you go down to the plus button and tap on that, you'll notice that you can make a, a collage of pictures. I'll show you one of those in just a minute. But what I wanted to call your attention to is the second choice here, add a text page. I think a text page uh, is nice to have in the book, either as a foreword or an afterword. So here's how you do it. It's quite simple. If you send yourself an email, you can copy and paste the text from the email right into the book. So let me show you what I mean. So I have an email here in my email. I have an email that I just sent uh, to myself. I want to put this as the foreword in the book. So send yourself an email with the text that you want in the book. Hold your finger down at the bottom and you'll have the option to select all the text, then copy the text. So now the text is in memory on your phone. It's on your clipboard, so to speak. And then flip back to your chat box and tap on the little plus down at the bottom right choose add text page so you get a blank page you put your finger on it and you paste text page added so there should be a text page somewhere oh, here it is there's a the text page now you can as i have said before you can put this text page anywhere you want Let's make that the first, the very first thing. Let me show you a couple of the others. I, I mentioned to you that the first option is um, a collage. So you can add a photo collage. And the way you do that is, uh, let's say you pick a collage where you want uh, four pictures. 
we call this four up in the business. And you have to go back to your camera roll and you have to go back to those three horizontal lines, the blue lines up at the top right. And you have to turn off. There's two choices down at the bottom. This is similar to what we did before and click select favorites. That's what you want and click apply. That'll narrow your choices to basically your favorites. You, let's say here's one. We'll say this one, this one, one, and this one. And you'll see these four pictures come up. So here it is. My feeling is on these small books, adding pages like this, um, maybe a little much, but if you're doing an eight by eight book or 10 by 10 book, that's a different story. You definitely could use these collage, this collage feature. So that's another feature. Now, going back to that plus symbol again, uh, you can remove pictures from the book and you can add photos here. So if there's more photos that you want to add, you can do that as well. There's one other thing that uh, I should mention. You go to this picture. If you tap on those tiny little three dots in the upper right hand corner, uh, you get some other options. You can remove a page down at the bottom if you're trying to delete a page. You can uh, use that picture as the book cover. You can rotate the picture if it's sideways. You can actually edit the photo. So let's edit the photo. I, I recommend that you edit your photos before you do all this. The Photos app has a very good editing feature, but let me just show you how to edit a photo. We'll crop it. So it goes to this photo and crop it, pinching, you know, pinching my fingers and opening my fingers and click done and click done again. That's another option for you. I go back to these dots again. You can remove a page. Let's do that. Let's try removing a page. Just took the page out of there. So those are additional features that I wanted to call your attention to. And you can make some really nice books if you just take some time to do it. And the last thing you want to do is preview the book before you push the uh, Add to Cart button. So if you push Preview Book, you have to turn the camera sideways for this horizontally and flip your finger through the book from right to left, and you'll be turning the pages. And you have an opportunity here to change the pictures, change the order of the pictures. Notice how the vertical pictures leave a... A uh, white border on the sides and the horizontal pictures don't. That's the last picture in the book, by the way. You'll have an opportunity to write something here if you so desire. So the horizontal pictures leave a white border at the top. The square pictures fill out the whole page. This picture of Maggie and Kathy uh, in bed together is uh, a square picture. I like the variety, actually. And that's it. I think you'll be able to make some really nice ones if you uh, get in there, roll up your sleeves, and do it. Anyway, I'm going to add it to the cart and put your plug your name and address in and give them your credit card. And that's basically it.